Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Life with Gutter and Carolina. Thank you guys so much for watching. And today I did this look using the ColourPop Yes Please palette. It's such a beautiful palette and I wanted to do a little look with it. Kind of fall since fall is almost here. And make sure you stay all the way to the end because I have a little surprise for you guys. So if you guys want to see how I got this look using the ColourPop Yes Please palette, just keep watching. I have been dying to get my hands on this for probably since it first came out because when I first saw it, it reminded me so much of the Natasha Denona. I think it's called the Sunset Palette. That palette is so beautiful, but it's so expensive. And, you know, I wasn't going to spend the money on just that one product. And this palette only retails for $16. It's such a good deal. And you get all these shadows. It's the Yes Place Palette. And it looks like this. So it's QAF and then it says ColourPop right here. And then the shades are in the back. So those are all the shades right there. Don't have anything on my face. And we're going to do the eyes first. Again, I'm so sorry about my eyebrows. I'm still trying to let them grow out. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. You guys already know the primer that I use, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love this primer. It keeps my eyelids not oily and it does my eyeshadows don't crease, so I really like it. I'm just going to put that all over. I'm going to take this little eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Bling, just to set the primer. And these are powdery. I'm like putting my brush in here. I don't mind if they're powdery as long as the eyeshadows blend. So I'm going to put that all over my lid. Doesn't have to be perfect, Just I'm just trying to set my eyeshadow primer so it won't be tacky. I'm going to take big cocktails right here and put that all over my crease. And I'm going to be using my, this BH Cosmetics brush. Put that in there. And again, you do get a lot of fallout. So I'm going to put that on my crease right here on top such a pretty like peachy pink color this color right here and also put that out on my crease where i put the other color and again this is also pretty powdery <laughs> powdery they're still blending out really nice just doing it really lightly I'm still getting really good color payoff the only thing that I'm noticing with the palette is you probably are gonna get it really dirty that sucks I guess that you could get this palette like pretty dirty easily but <sighs> that's okay for the price honestly it's fine so since this looks pretty light, I want to darken it up. I'm going to use these two colors. So I'm going to take my Morphe E22 brush and I'm going to use dip into both of those colors and just put that all over my crease as well. I'm going to take it from the outer corner and I'm going to do circular motions and then when she'll wiper motions going up to the crease so you can see these are so pigmented so make sure you do little by little and you keep adding more if you need to since they are pretty pigmented it's better to keep adding products slowly than to take it all away I'm going to use this brown color it's called Mischief and I'm going to again put that on my crease. I'm going to use the same brush. Okay, I'm going to take this beautiful like copper red color. I'm going to put that all over my lid. So pretty. 
that color is really pretty but I think I want it to be a little bit more intense so I'm going to go ahead and put some of this uh, spray on my brush and just dip it into the color and put it on my lid and see if that makes it look a little bit more intense yeah this is definitely helping it out you can definitely see a difference between this color and this color so this one is with a little bit of spray and then this one has no so you can definitely see like it looks so much prettier and brighter using some kind of spray you can even use water just like wet your brush with water and then dip it into that color okay guys so so far this is what the eyes look like i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face makeup off camera and i'll be back to finish up the eyes okay guys i'm back so i pretty much finished the rest of my face makeup i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my eyes so basically we're going to do the same thing that we did on top at the bottom and I'm going to take this Morphe M508 brush I'm going to go back into the Yes Please palette and I'm going to take Louie and Buttercake, these two shades right here I'm going to put that on the bottom of my eyes using the Yes Please palette by ColourPop. Loved how this turned out. The colors are so pigmented. I love these colors. They're gorgeous. They're so beautiful, especially now that it's about to be fall. You can definitely use this palette and create so many looks with this. And the shades are just so beautiful. I didn't use anything else other than this palette on my eye. The only thing that I maybe wish that they would have included would be maybe a black. I have a black in my other palette, so that's fine. I'm going to keep using them. If you guys want me to do another look using the ColourPop Yes Please palette, I'll be happy to film another look for you guys. So my little surprise is that I'm doing actually a giveaway. I reached 100 subscribers, and I'm so thankful. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to just, like, watch my videos. And subscribe to my channel it's like so amazing like i'm so thankful for you guys so thank you so much so i'll be giving away one of the yes please palettes by ColourPop. i know it's sold out and I, since i've had such a hard time trying to get my hands on this palette i thought that i would just give one away to you guys so it's the yes please palette by ColourPop. I'm also going to be giving away this Ulta Matte Lip Cream. It's like a liquid lipstick. It's in the color Artistic. It's such a beautiful, like, pink color. And then the other thing that I'm going to be giving away are these lashes. It's the Cream Shop or the Cream Shop. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. It's in the number 415. And I've used these lashes before. They're really good. But yeah, I'm going to be giving away these three products to one of you. It's going to last for a month. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway and win those three items is, is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you leave a comment below saying that you would like to be entered. So after a month, I will pick one winner randomly. If you would like to be entered and you would like to win, just make sure you follow the rules, follow those steps, and I will list all the details in the description box as well, so just make sure you look there. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. If there's any other looks that you guys want me to do, let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!